My name is Hassan Ali Omar, living in Norway. We came to USA to find out how Somalis have developed themselves. Here we have met some ladies, Somali ladies, who have developed in, in educationally and, and we, we have got uh, the chance to interview them. First of all, uh, we would like to thank you that you get your time uh, to speak with us. Thank you, and I'm glad to be here with you. Thank you very much for having us on the show. Could you please tell us your names first? My name is Nemo. Uh, Nema Ahmed. Hinda Ali. When did you come uh, to USA? I moved to the United States late 1998. I was here late 1998 too. <laughs> okay. Could you please uh, tell us uh, uh, something about your education, how high your education is? Um, I went to both uh, high school here and college and I recently finished um, a public policy fellowship at the University of Minnesota. I uh, did my undergrad in political science and international relations and currently in graduate school. Uh, what kind of work you have? I work for the city of Minneapolis where I do policy work. I work for a Somali nonprofit organization called Somali Action Alliance and we work on social justice and social change issues. Do you think uh, hijab uh, is issue uh, when you are uh, applying uh, a job in the United States? Um, I haven't encountered that, and but I'm sure there's some people that did. But here in Minneapolis, particularly the state of Minnesota, people are used to Somalis and how they dress with the hijab. And we've been just blessed to actually be part of a community that has been able to accept us, who we are, our religion, our culture, and uh, it's just been great to be here. Uh, just to add what Nimco said, um, I haven't encountered any problems with me wearing my hijab and finding any type of work. Actually, I see that it attracts people to ask me, you know, what what is the hijab you're wearing, what is it called, uh, you know, where do you get it from? So I have a lot of girls uh, from non-Muslim backgrounds that go shopping with me so I can they can wear the hijabs with me. Um, you know, Minnesota is very, we're very lucky, all of us over here to live in Minnesota. It's called, you know, the Minnesota nice is called, and then people over here are very welcoming. And then, you know, and I, I feel like it's because of the Scandinavian touch to it. I know I feel like you guys in Norway, uh, and then uh, all the Minnesotans here, most of them are from Scandinavia. Last question I would like to ask you uh, is, uh, is there any advice you will give to Somali girls? Uh, around the world and especially Somali girls and women in Norway? You know, um, I will say um, if you wanted to wear hijab, meaning like you actually want it for yourself and for your religion, um, make it part of you. Make it like uh, part of your skin color. Make it part of who you are. Like, you know, there's nothing that we can do as far as who we are. I walk around every day carrying the name that I have, Nima'o, which my parents gave it to me. I walk around every day knowing that I'm Somali. I walk around every day knowing that I'm a Muslim. And my advice to Somali girls who are out there will be pretty much live with yourself, who you are comfortably. When you feel comfortable in your own skin, people will respect you. It don't matter whether you're wearing a hijab like this or a jilbab. People have people getting to know who you are as an individual rather than the clothes that you wear and that's very important I think but many times one thing that we forget is people especially within our community they, they tend to actually judge people if they're not wearing the hijab or um, hijab or like you know you should be covered more I think it has to come from the person when it does it will feel more comfortable on the actual person that person will be proudly wearing that hijab hijab is not something that one should be forced on it should be something that they should be wanting to actually wear when you wake up every morning and want to be out of your house it's something that you should say I want to put on before I leave and I just encourage them you know if that's what they want by the time they actually get to that moment, they'll all just love it and they'll feel comfortable with it. Um, I just want to say uh, be unique 
be proud of who you are, carry your culture on proud, hold your, hold your head up high, uh, be different. The more different you are, the actually more I, it might be negative light to you, but at the same time use that as an opportunity to educate others of who, who's your, what your culture is, where you're from, why do you choose to wear the hijab, what your religion is. Just be proud and then never back down, never be fear to do something that you don't want to do. Uh, and then if you ever encounter a problem, uh, voice your concerns, rally your Muslim sisters behind you and be an agent of change and then change things around. But the most important thing, be proud of who you are and then hold your, help, help, uh, your head up high. Thank you very much. Yo, thank you so much. And then I, I want to come to Norway and then hope to see you guys, some of you guys there when I get there. <laughs> thank you.